So I'm audible, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Hope you can see the screen. Screen is visible, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So uh, the first question regarding muons. Now consider the following statements regarding muons. See, they are created when the particles in Earth's atmosphere collide with cosmic rays. These particles resemble electrons, but are two zero seven times as massive. Okay, massive than electrons. Now, myography is conceptually similar to X-ray, but capable of scanning much larger and wider structures. So, which of the above statements are correct? So, you can <coughs> take a second and read. Hope you must have seen this in news. Muons are very, this is very important for us this time. So, which of the above statements are correct? A, one only, B, one, two, three, C, three only, none of the above. So you can read, take, take a minute and read. Okay. B, Sharat, Narishno, B. Okay. You're right, right. All, all of the above, right? So I just wanted to. Give you an idea if you are not aware. That's why I added this question. So, did you read this in news? You are aware, right, regarding Mons, or is it right? Uh, every statement was uh, was conclusive, so you gave this answer. Sharat Krishna. Sir, it was more because of conclusivity, sir. I, I did not follow this in the news. W was okay. it anything special? See, nothing much important for us, but this can be. Okay. This is okay. regarding China. Okay, so yeah, good if you got the answer. But see, the question may not be uh, like this. I just wanted to give you this idea. That's all. Okay, sir. And Krishna, I think Krishna, you was about to say something. You were about to say something. Yeah, uh, even I never knew about it. I just, uh, I, I thought the the sentences couldn't be wrong. So that's it. Okay. Moons, as for the new study, researchers are examining the fortress wall of Xi'an, an ancient city in China. So this is not much important for us, but this is, okay, by using tiny outer space particles that can penetrate hundreds of meters of stone surfaces known as moons. So this, this, this part is much important for us. Solution is B, all the three are right. Like moons are subatomic particles raining from space. Okay, they are created when the particles in the Earth's atmosphere collide with cosmic rays. Right, so there are some particles in the Earth's atmosphere which get collided with the cosmic rays. See, what is cosmic rays? They are high energy radiation that originates from outside our solar system. Right, so there are cosmic uh, waves coming in and <coughs> hitting particles in Earth, and bonds are created. Right, when they reach Earth, the rays collide with particles in the upper atmosphere to produce shower of particles, including bonds. Okay, this you can forget. So basic idea regarding ones this is okay now these particles resemble electrons but are two not seven times as massive than electrons so this is good for us okay they are sometimes called as fat electrons so remember this term okay. this slide as a whole <coughs> see because moons are so heavy see they are heavy right because compared to electrons they are very much heavy they can travel through hundreds of meters of rock or other matter before getting up so or decaying into electrons and neutrons so they are more <coughs> mightier than massive than both electrons and neutrons right they are called as fast electrons okay so hence this can be used for studies okay as china is trying to do now okay In, uh, comparison electrons can penetrate through only a few centimeters before that they get abs absorbed into the material so this is the use of myography right it is used in archaeology customs security internal imaging of volcanoes and this is the real life incident that 
was very important. In 2015, scientists used this technique to look inside the Fukushima nuclear reactor after the 2011 earthquake and tsunami in Japan. Okay. So this can help to find the deviations or variations in whatever thing that they're going into. Okay, in India, this is not much developed. Otherwise, we must have seen this. But once as as a particle, it's very important for us to know. Right. So can take a second and read this slide. <coughs> If it was for mains, we can use this idea as a way forward for uh, finding rare earth minerals, okay, and etc. etc. for other things also. But this is not yet fully developed for us, okay. So, there, right? So, see where they can be used. That's what is very important for us. So, is this slide clear? Yes, sir. Yes. Just, yeah. Can anyone read this out? We have studied this out. Anyone? Can you read it out for me? Consider the following statements regarding Nassar. It is an Earth observation satellite built by the space agencies of India and Japan. Okay. It will improve our understanding of carbon exchange. Okay. Synthetic aperture radar, radar is used, which is capable of penetrating clouds and collect data day and night. So which of the above statements, sir? Correct. So in this sir, you must have read. Your answers. Intuition, maybe, yeah, work. You're going on site. B. So, yeah, it's see, actually, uh, it's B two and three. Okay, see, synthetic aperture radar, okay, SAR, NASA ISRO, that's all. Okay, so again, not necessary, but some questions you can find from the questions itself, okay, even if you don't know the answers to be exact. Okay, so NASA ISRO. Synthetic aperture radar, right? It is an earth observation satellite, but not with Japan. So it's B. Okay. So it's earth observation satellite and also more. Okay. So clear, right, Sharath? You can see the slide. Sir, I knew it was with NASA, but then I did not know what synthetic aperture radar was. I thought it was not earth observation, it was space observatory satellite. Yeah, yeah. No issues. So so anyway, if if see uh, that's why I added this together. Even if you don't know the observation, if you know it's uh, again it's US, then right. So this is the right one, and this is the wrong one. Okay. So anyone, it, it can be so from the same statement. It can be any other thing that may go wrong. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, yeah, uh, NASA ISRO synthetic aperture radar got a send off ceremony at American Space Agency's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, California. Right. B. Okay. Now, uh, Nisar has been built by space agencies of US and India. Okay. Uh, partnership agreement of 2014, which you don't want to remember now. It's an Earth observation satellite. Once launched into space, will observe subtle changes in Earth surfaces. Okay. It will spot warning signs of natural disasters such as volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, and landslides. Okay, see, because see, SAR actually gives uh, two dimensional and three dimensional pictures also. The satellite will also measure groundwater levels, okay, track flow rates of glaciers and ice, ice sheets, monitor planets, forest, agriculture regions, which can improve our understanding of carbon exchange. Okay, so why carbon exchange? Because if there may be a forestation, there may be deforestation, okay, release of carbon dioxide, release of methane also. So, all this, as per this NISA's report, they say it can track. So remember all these points. So 
it can be application level so how business are used to solve the issues like like it can it measure the groundwater so we so it, it can do all this okay <coughs> the satellite can okay so synthetic aperture radar is a form of radar that is used to create two dimensional or three dimensional uh, okay, images and it can reconstruct objects and landscapes hence it is able to do things sir uses the motion of radar antenna over the target region to provide finer spatial resolution that uh, conventional uh, stationary beam scanning radars okay okay by using synthetic aperture radar nisar will produce high resolution images it is capable of penetrating clouds and can collect data day and night regardless of the weather condition so obviously when it can penetrate clouds it is again uh, see it's a radar right so in between clouds it will not so it has a radar antenna okay you don't want to again go into the technicalities of this okay you just want to know how it works and what does and what are the qualities of sa so it can be even a single question on sa synthetic aperture radar okay. so any synthetic aperture radar these are the qualities so again if you know this right you can again guess you can come to an answer so is this news clear Yeah. Under the following statements regarding uh, petroglyphs, they are defined as pictographs created on a rock, uh, rock surface. Okay, uh, Daraki Chatan in Madhya Pradesh serves as an example in India. Okay, there are many other examples. So, as per this question, this Daraki Chatan in Madhya Pradesh from India. So, which of the above statements are not not correct? So. If you know the term petroglyphs, uh, again you can come to an answer. <coughs> Sorry. C, 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 C. Krishna of others any guess see you must try even if you don't answer no not an issue you must try and uh, see uh, even for you basically we know that we cannot be sure of again more than 10 or 15 questions or 20 for that matter we must guess we must clear out some statements we must come to a conclusion So this is actually uh, not pictograph, it is actually carvings. Okay. So this is petroglyph and pictograph, both are different terms altogether. So two is right. So not correct, A will be the answer. So pectoglyph, pictograph. If something is painted on a rock, it's pictograph. If something is carved on a rock, it's petroglyph from Greek word. Right. So it's A is the answer. Okay. This is right. Now what I have a solution is A. Now petroglyphs, some stone carvings that archaeologists say date back to the Paleolithic period or the Stone Age has been rediscovered on the Aravalli hilltop hilltop. Okay. So which is the highest week in Aravalli and where is, is it located? Anyone? Gurushikar. right. And Avali is actually in Rajasthan and flow it, it lies like this. Okay. And the rain only covers this region, southwest monsoon. If it was kind of like this and will not have that desert. So <coughs> started near starts near Delhi Ridge till Gujarat. Okay. Now the term uh, petroglyph are derived from the Greek word. Petra meaning stone, glyph in, means to carve. Okay. It is used to describe any image created on a rock surface by okay, scouring, uh, scratching, engraving, okay, chiseling, carving, or any other similar method rather than not painting. So, painted or drawn images on rocks are not classified as petroglyphs, but they are called pictograph. That's what I added in the question. So, this is 
both opposite of the this is a different term altogether now the oldest art in this particular category of prehistoric rock carvings are bimbitta we know that right we have both so again bimbitta is one petroglyph example in india and the oldest in india and <coughs> The Akhi Chattan in uh, Madhya Pradesh itself is a petroglyph. Okay. Same time with Bimbekta. If you have not seen this place, it is very important again because of the old rock cuttings like, or carving. So this is one example in uh, <coughs> Akhi Chattan in Madhya Pradesh itself. One example. This is being carved, not painted. Right? So is this news clear regarding? Clear, yeah. sir. Okay, so rather than petroglyph, you go to think about Aravalli hilltop where it is located, okay, and uh, about this place that's not much in news, okay, but it's the same time of Bimbetka. Okay. Next is consider the following statements with respect to Yuva Sangam portal. Okay, it is an initiative of Ministry of Tourism. Okay. Aims to achieve second point is aim to achieve the spirit of Ek Bharat Shreshta Bharat. Under this Yuva Sangam, tours will be conducted to gain unique opportunity of cross cultural learning. Okay. For again, young like Yuva. So, which of the above statements are correct? Correct. Is it 1, 2, 3? Is it 2 and 3? Is it 1 and 3? Or none of the above? Chandra A, one, two, three. Others. We see Rabia A, Shrit B, Shrit A, Anasri P, B, B. But it's honestly because she's not here. Okay, Phoebe is going with C. This can also be B, uh, my Ministry of Youth. Sir, Ministry of Youth Affairs. Yeah, I think right. Is there a Ministry of Youth Affairs? I think there is a mystery of youth, sir, youth affairs and sports. Yeah, that you are right. B. So it's actually B. Okay. It's not Ministry of Tourism, but Ministry of Education and Skill Development. Not again sports, not, not an issue, but you thought. So, so uh, do you know regarding Ek Bharat, Shreshta Bharat, Abhiyan? B or anyone who gave out for C. Okay. So no issues. So it's actually answers B. Okay. Now uh, US Sangam registration portal was launched recently. That's why it's in news now. The Initiative Ministry of Education and Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. It aims to build close ties okay, between the youth of northeastern region and the rest of India under the spirit of Ek Bharat Shreshta Bharat. So basically Ek Bharat Shreshta Bharat is I think under Ministry of culture right that i don't remember but it's it must be so uh, can you search that for me i didn't have that i forgot to. so it's basically uh, creating a respect between uh, other states people students of other states or people of other states okay. so we'll be going to some other state and staying there kind of thing is ek bharat shreshta bharat okay. so to know our rich culture that's the basic idea of ek bharat shreshta bharat so this is again in the spirit of ek bharat shreshta bharat this is but the main aim is uh, to bring in close ties with the northeastern region. Okay. So always there are issues okay, of discrimination when we go to the north with the northeast. The people in the north usually, okay, even I have seen. Okay. So better we must know. Okay, even the north people will be <coughs> seeing low uh, calling as Madirasis and others. And again, many of other states they see north as less. So that must not be there. So Ekbar, Shreshwar, 
gives an example okay mutual respect now over 20000 youth will travel across india and gain a unique opportunity of cross cultural learning okay now your sangam tours are being obviously tours must be there right if you want to travel being organized for the youth of different states with an aim to promote a sense of respect towards each other's heritage customs culture and traditions okay so some people who comes to uh, kerala for visiting right they will be bringing the food that they made in their home or from the state because they say that they don't get it here so the main thing that you go to travel to experience the culture there that must be the reason okay uh, so <clears throat> now your youth between the age of 18 and 30 will take part in this program so this is the time line of youth as per this okay. now it will provide an immersive immersive uh, multi dimensional experience of various facets under the four broad based areas just for your information you don't want to buy hard this remember this term okay. sometime it may this, this term may trigger an exam okay. paryatan is tourism okay. parampara tradition pragati development okay. now paraspar sampark people to people connect these are the four ideas of this uh, us sangam portal which aims to connect the northeastern uh, youth who are between the age of 18 to 30 okay with the others <coughs> of india in Indian, other indian states and uts okay uh, clear right this bharat ministry of education itself thank you for that so just quote this what sujit has said okay so remember ek bharat shreshth bharat is under ministry of education this this is very important even i thought it was under ministry of culture Okay. Now, can we move to the next question? It's clear, right? Till now. Yes. Sir. <coughs> okay. Next, let's consider the following statements regarding uh, Hindenburg report. So, why was this in news? You must have seen anyone. Why was this report in news? The Adani okay. share issue. Yeah, Adani Shah. True. Now, an annual report on investments of corporates prepared by OECD Secretariat. It collects information through websites of the target companies. The report is sent to the governments that provides a request for the same. Okay. So, which of the above statements are correct? So, in the month report, an annual report on investments of corporates okay, prepared by OECD Secretariat. It collects information through websites of the target companies. Uh, the report is sent to governments that provides a request your answers c okay any other answer <laughs> So uh, you are aware of who releases this report and or did you guess? So it's a private firm, right? Yeah. Okay. So anyone answer if you know, right? You can. Because if you know that. Right. So so why this name? Okay. Hindenburg is actually this kind of airship, okay, like a hot air balloon which went into an accident in the US. Hence, it was a preventable man made disaster, okay. We don't want to go to that, okay. So, that place is Hindenburg, I think. So, because of that, this name came up. So, these are some investments which <coughs> are some disasters that can be prevented. That's all. That's why this term. Okay, the other way, see some some other way you can remember this. That's why I added this photo also. The opposition parties took on the government and the Lok Sabha over the Hindenburg report on Adani Group. Okay. This is an investment research firm founded in 2017. It is based in New York, okay, USA. It is named after the 1937 uh, Hindenburg disaster, which they characterize as a human-made avoidable disaster. Okay, so you don't want to give much importance to this, okay. Research in investment. Okay. 
the firm generates public reports it's not asked by requested by government or anything it is released publicly via its website that alleged uh, corporate fraud and malfeasance uh, malfeasance what's the term meaning i don't know right so mal administration or okay malice now hindenburg research prepares its <coughs> investigation report on a target company in six or more months by going through its public records and internal corporate documents as well as talking to its employees okay this is the way they investigate so i don't know how they will go and find the internal corporate documents it will not be easy but it's not of our importance we don't want to know how what they are, how they are working for okay. we just want to see that they are not just collecting some online uh, details and giving a report out okay that's what is we that's what we need and again we are sure that this question may not trigger will not trigger in UPSC, right chances are very less but you must know regarding some report like this that's all okay so next is can i go to the next one yes sir okay i think more you don't want to study the facts but can anyone read this Consider the following statements. The Anatolian plate is an oceanic plate that converges onto the Eurasian plate. Turkey is not situated in a tectonically active region, but the shock waves led to the earthquakes there. Which of the above statements are correct? Okay. So, which of the above statements are correct? Again, you must have read this right. Thank you. Let's see if she tell us here. Church and Ready. Who came up with C? Jidinath came up with C. Okay. Both statements are correct. Sri P V D Chandra D. Okay. So actually answers D. Okay, it is situated in a techno tectonically active region. Okay, and see this question may or may not trigger, but we must know this an oceanic plate. No. Okay. It's a continental plate. So D is the answer, right? Now so this is Anatolian Anatolian plate. There is North Anatolian, there's East, and this is Turkey. This is where the plate is. Okay. And again, you can see Eurasian plate, you can see Arabian plate, right? And this plate. So it's the plate boundary, obviously. Okay. <coughs> this is in a tectonic zone. Turkey is in a tectonic zone. Now, uh, an earthquake of magnitude 7.8 struck Turkey, one of the most seismically seismically active sorry, regions in the Mediterranean and the world recently. Solution is D. Okay. So there is African plate, there is Arabian plate, there is Eurasian plate. So very important tectonic zone. And this Turkey falls in these three. Okay, they're part of. Okay. So remember, there is Mediterranean Sea. Here there is Aegean Sea, which we have seen in maps. Again, we'll start revising the same. Anatolian plate, Anatolian plate is a continental tectonic plate that is separated from the Eurasian plate and the Arabian plate by North Anatolian fault and the East Anatolian fault. These two faults separates this. That's all. Not much important, but most of the country of Turkey is located on this plate. Turkey, the Turkish Anatolian plate sits between three major tectonic plates: Africa, Arabian, Eurasian. See. This is surrounded actually. So this is technically active region. Right. Clear, right? Regarding this. So uh, see plates, minor, major plates, tectonic regions. Uh, we must know. Okay. So is everyone clear regarding this question? Yes, sir. Okay. Now I have added a map. Okay. So wouldn't add more questions. Because we, we are having an offline test, okay, a free mock all India test on Sunday. Okay. 
uh, here uh, in online and offline mode so you can register if you want if you are willing to write okay so it's not uh, made so tough but to build the confidence and kind of UBC level okay you can register by calling the number here okay if you want to write online or offline both ways so uh, that's why I couldn't uh, I was behind that so I couldn't prepare more of the slides like more of questions now <coughs> map okay so regarding the C okay so I just want to uh, make sure that C yellow C is above East China Sea then comes South China Sea Towards the east, there is Philippine Sea. Okay, there is Gulf of Thailand. There is Selip Sea. So remember these terms, which is not easy to remember. Selip Sea is near Sulawesi Islands of Indonesia, okay, near Indonesia. Okay, so east of uh, Borneo, it's a part of Indonesia, right? Indonesia or Malaysia? Borneo is a part of anyone? Kalimantan Islands. Okay. it's actually indonesia and there is bruni another country here this is malaysia this is indonesia and to, towards the east there is celipsi okay so remember the order then there is arafura sea east timor near east timor okay so remember this order north to south remember always remember one side like whether it will be north to south west to east or it will be south to north okay so with this you can again negate any answer so is the news clear for, of today? Yes. Sir. Is there any doubt? No, right? So can we wind up? Thank yes, you. Sir. Sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.